Some lady up there asked me, said, what you gonna do? I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I expect, though, mm -hmm. that, it, that God got something really great in store for me. So, you know, when, when doors... Let, 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 let me jump in there. Come on. You're not supposed to know. Mm. You're not supposed <laughs> to know. The, life is a mystery. If you take away the mystery and everything was certain, you wouldn't need faith. Mm. Faith functions best when you don't know. Mm. So God often puts us in positions where we don't know to destabilize us from think, relying too much on what we know. Yeah. Like a trainer who starts you out and he starts you out on a weight machine, okay? And then he puts you on a bench and he gives you free weights because now it's less stable. The, the less stable it is, the more muscles you build. Mm -hmm. Finally, he puts you on a ball where everything's unstable. And when he puts you on the ball, he's building up your core. Mm. So the more unstable your life becomes, the more you have to go inside yourself to stabilize yourself. Mm. You're strong enough to withstand instability. Yeah. And if you knew everything, you'd have no room for faith, for discovery, mm. for innovation, because creativity comes in uncertainty. Yeah. It comes in uncertainty, in the middle of chaos, because after a while, anytime you know too much, you stop living your best self. Mm. You, 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 yeah. Can anybody relate to that? You would never discover what else you were if you stayed in one place. Mm. Okay, this is my copy right here. Okay, this is the study guide. This yeah. is the, where you gotta fill in and You gotta fill in stuff because I don't have the answers. The answer is inside of you. See, man, you talking directly to me because, you know, I think this is the best way I've explained how I feel. You know, I'm okay with where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I just never had it explained to me that way. Mm -hmm. You know, the crushing is necessary. It's absolutely necessary, and that's why I wrote the book. Because people only see the good part of you. It's like Instagram and Twitter. You never post a bad picture. <laughs> you know, you pass up all them other pictures. You get that one picture that's got the right angle and the right light. You put that picture up yeah. and then put a filter on that. Yeah. OK. <laughs> OK. Put a filter on that light, then I've changed it a little bit, do all that kind of stuff. So we have started to believe the illusion <laughs> that people who look good on camera and people who do amazing things only had amazing moments. And that's why we have so many haters. Because haters feel like it's not fair for you to have all the good times while I go through all the bad times. But the reality is we go through bad times too. Come on, we man. go through heartache too. Right. We go through disappointment. We feel bad. We get depressed. We want to give up. We want to walk away. But there's something down inside of you that keeps pushing you. I feel like I'm in church for a minute. You better set me down. <laughs> You better set me down because I set it off in here. Yeah. I set it off in here. Set right. it off in here. I man. set it off right here. My man, I love you, boy. Love you, brother. This dude right here. Hey, we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.